everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel so today we are going to do a first impression and review of the new foundation from YSL and this is the uh, all 24 hour long wear flawless matte full coverage foundation it's called all hours packaging looks like this so beautiful and this is the foundation all hours foundation now I've seen this on YouTube and I got curious and many people like it so I bought one and I bought in shade B30 so I hope it will match me and with that I also bought their new all our primer face primer and this is supposed to be like flawless matte long wear primer and you have to shake it look how beautiful this packaging is very nice so today we are going to try this for the first time and we are going to try this foundation and I'm going to put half of my face with a beauty blender and half try with my favorite brushes and it's my favorite foundation brush from Paris Berlin and I always talk about these brushes I love putting my eyeshadows with Paris Berlin brushes because they are so soft so nice and I've washed this hundred of times and it still looks like new so I love them uh, and yes I'm going to put this primer all over my face because I'm going out today I'm going away with my family and my children to watch the new Ninago movie and then afterwards I'm going out with my mom and my sister we are going to see a play a comedy play I'll come home very very late today so I need to, my makeup to look okay so we are going to try this and I have other couple of things that I want to try for the first time but let's try the primer so I'm going to zoom you in a little bit and we're going to shake it can you hear it And I already did my eyebrows and my eyeshadow primer and moisturized my skin. Oh. Cute. Very watery. Flower scents to it. It feels nice, very moisturizing. It feels lightweight, so we'll see how this will keep my makeup on. Of course, uh, I will try the foundation with another primer also, but I'm curious to see how this primer works. And I'm going to wear my foundation many hours today, so I need it to be, to look good. Very nice. This is glass. Ooh two pumps I'm going to try to use uh, the um, this side with a brush love this brush doesn't look matte it looks very nice and it applies wonderfully with this brush gives me very nice coverage it looks nice I like it one layer looks beautiful let's try to use beauty blender on the other side so if I look right now, I can see that I got better coverage with the brush. So I'm going to use the brush and not the beauty blender. So that's what I'm going to do. Try to build it up. I really 
like this foundation it feels so light and I did build it up so I have a lot of the foundation on my skin but it doesn't look like that it looks very nice very nice love this brush I'm going to put link down below where you can if you're interested to see what brushes Paris Berlin have and uh, how much they cost and yeah, if you're interested this video is not sponsored I just love the brushes so before I put any concealer I'm going to zoom you in so you can see look how flawless my skin looks right now and I also have a video with these powders the ghost and banana powder now makeup revolution came out with a new powder lace baking powder I'm not going to bake but I'm going to set this foundation and my under eye concealer with this powder so I'm going to take my concealer and my favorite concealer is from NARS uh, and this is vanilla shade I'm not going to take a lot of it just a little bit and of course going to use the same brush Concealer applied very nice over the foundation. I tried to order their all our concealer, but all the light shades were out of the stock and I couldn't purchase it anywhere else. So I had to try that when it gets back in the stock. And when I need to set my under eye area, I love to use this brush from Paris Berlin. It's like a kabuki, but it's kind of, if you can see, it's not really rounded. Looks like this. Very nice packed. And I'm going to try this powder. Hey. Love this brush. Or powder looks and this powder looks so nice on my skin and I'm going to use this powder to set on my face I really love how this foundation looks right now on my skin like it really really love it so right now I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and uh, I'm going to use this beautiful palette on my eyes and I'll be right back. So I'm going to use this Makeup Obsession Love London Blush Perfect B102 and try this for the first time. And I'm going to use this brush again and I have 12 of these. But today we're going just to try this shade. Ooh. Beautiful shade. And I love this brush for the blush too. Now I have some eyeshadow down here, but don't mind that. We're going to clean this up, that up. So we have the blush, nice shade. I also got uh, YSL's travel size makeup volume effect fox curls mascara. I'm going to try that. So right now this mascara is not giving me wow look, it's okay, but nothing that maybe I will reach for. Um, that was everything right now, it's 12 o'clock and I'm going to wear this foundation for many hours and I'll do check-ins.
right now I'm very happy how this looks. That was everything and um, see you in a couple of hours. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's 10 o'clock at night. Let me take off my glasses. And I had this foundation for 10 hours right now. I just came home. Um, um, I had a wonderful day and wonderful evening, but I'm very tired. And let's see how this foundation hold and the primer hold for the day. Now, it looks very, very nice. So this foundation is supposed to be up to 24 long, 24 hours long wear. It innovated formula is waterproof and trans resistant with no comprom compromise on comfort, uh, comfort. No need to touch up even through non-stop activity. Well, I did have to touch up with some mattifying, pow mattifying powder on my nose and my chin because I did get very oily and I do look shiny right now. I don't know. Um, it's still there, but I did touch my chin a couple of times and my nose so right now I don't have a lot of foundation there I still have a little bit but not as much as I had before and uh, I did get oily so if you can see I do look shiny and I did get get shiny around five o'clock so it's been like after five hours I got got this oily so I had to ch touch up a little bit so so I don't really agree with this one. Okay, the next full coverage, a rich level of fine pigments created a flawless even coverage without a mask like like effect. And that's right. I have full coverage and it looks very nice. It doesn't look like I wear a lot of foundation. And now there are some lines from my glasses. And not only glasses, but I had 3D glasses when we were at the movie with children. I have those lines here but otherwise it looks very nice it feels light it doesn't feel like I have any makeup on so that's right I agree with that uh, match and control through the day this oil free formula keeps complexion shine free and reduce the appearance of pores shine free I don't agree with that as I said I do look shiny right now so oil control I can't say it does what it says what it says it's supposed to do my pores do look much smaller so my pores are less visible so that's true and uh, urban protective skin maybe probably I don't know this is long lasting or long wearing foundation it is and I do like it and definitely going to use it and grab for it so I do like it it reminds me a little bit of my Estee Lauder double wear I, I do get a little bit shiny with that foundation also and I do like how it looks on my skin and I really enjoy how this foundation looks on my skin and this shade B30 is perfect for me I really like it really like it and I'm definitely going to use it uh, my rest of my makeup like my bronzer and my blush is still on my skin so it looks very nice the other products blend beautifully over this foundation and i really really enjoy this then we have the primer all our all our primer and it says flawless matte long wear primer an instant per, uh, perfecting layer for lasting more even complexion this advanced primer is enriched with a lasting complex to improve foundations wear and hold for just applied just applied makeup results all day I don't know uh, I can't say it's matte because my face looks shiny but I'm going I do like this primer it I like it because it felt it feels very nice and very soft and doesn't feel heavy so of course I do like it I'm definitely going to try it with other foundations to see if it really does what it sa says it's supposed to do. It's kind of different for me to say it right now when I try the foundation for the first time. So can't say, but I do like it and I really love the packaging. Really love the packaging. And then we have the powder, 
this is the new revolution uh, baking powder lace and I really love this powder now I didn't bake but I did my concealer with this powder and it is very nice I like it I like it a lot perfect shade for my skin tone so definitely going to be something I reach for definitely now the mascara that I tried where is it when I bought uh, the foundation and the primer I got this wonderful cute bag daring black it says here very nice from uh, YSL and I got this mascara this beautiful lipstick so cute it's a really nice pink shade now I didn't try this lipstick and I got um, the perfume example for black opium so cute and I have full size behind me and this is so cute so I think I'm going to give this to someone because I already have the full size of this one and I like it this mascara looks nice now I'm a little black under my eyes but it's not bad it doesn't look bad as it can be with other uh, mascaras so I'm a little bit tired and my voice is kind of leaving me right now but it doesn't do anything special for my for my eyelashes they kind of look boring I don't think that I'm going to buy the full size but I'm going to use this one and let's use blotting paper to see how the foundation looks after there is some foundation on the paper and I really like this uh, makeup obsession uh, live love London blush this is in perfect beautiful blush I really like it and I have 11 more shades so I'm going to do a video with swatches it's so cute this is a wonderful shade So this is how the foundation looks after 10 hours. Now you can see where I had my glasses. But look how nice it looks around here and on my cheeks and on my forehead. So I have to say that I really enjoyed this foundation. I'm definitely going to wear it again. Now it did make me a little bit oily and shiny, but it's nothing it's not too bad so definitely going to reach for that again well that was everything i had for you today if you liked this video please give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe so uh, you don't miss any of my other videos and hit that notification bell so you know every time i upload and that was everything i ha had for you today i hope i see you in my next video bye